Hi, I'm Heidi Woodhead uh, from DHI Event Horses and in this training video for British Horse Feeds we're introducing a young horse to water. This is a four-year-old called I Am Quality DHI. We call him Will at home. Um, he's been recently backed and ridden away um, and he's been in water once before so we'll see how he feels about it today but I'm going to introduce him to it again like he's not been here before so I'm just going to, he's had a little look. We've walked around so we're going to walk around the edge of the of the gravel part. You always get a feel for whether or not the horse is going to be settled and happy with it because they're either trying to get away from the water or they're having a look and thinking, I wonder what's going on. So I'm just walking around the edge and I sort of decrease the shape or the circle that I'm using and there we go, we've got his feet wet, good. Good boy, oh wow, well done. It's quite interesting with the young ones, if they're a little bit nervous, sometimes when the water splashes they can get their back up and it can become a bit bouncy, shall we say. But he's quite happy and settled with that. So I'm going to walk out of the water and I like to keep the young ones moving a little bit because I think if you stand them still then they can freeze and worry if, if you keep them moving and just keep coming in and out then they learn that it's okay. Well done. Good boy. So it's one thing that I'm quite aware of is um, watching the horse's ears. It gives you a very good indication of what they're thinking. He's quite inquisitive. He's got his ears on everything and his eyes on everything. Also with the young horses. <coughs> they let you know if they're going to be a little bit nervous and worried. So always coming into the water, his ears go back a little bit and then he sort of takes a deep breath and relaxes again. So he's getting the hang of this. So I'm going to walk him up the step, see what we think about that. Oh, clever, good boy. And then into the water again. <coughs> there we go. Good boy, it's very clever. Very clever. And we just keep turning circles and just let him feel the water around his legs and splashing and all the noise going on. Very good. Up the little step again. Ooh, good boy. Very good. And off that edge, good boy. Very good. I'm going to have a little jog, see what we think to that. Ooh, good boy. Very clever. Boy, now I don't like to jump them in off the step into the water too soon because that's often a lot more dramatic than walking up out over a step. I like to walk them up the steps so that they know where their feet are. Less likely to have a miss hit and a bit of a stumble. Good boy. Very good. Very good. Whee! There we go. So we just slid off the edge a little bit there. And that's what I mean about when you jump into the water. It can all be a little bit too much boy so they can step off over the rail onto the dry whoop, whoop. there we go so we're working that one out that's great good boy <coughs> good boy good boy go on go on so I don't like them to think they can run away I like to just make them th think a little bit where they are and just sit and wait. Whee, good boy. Sit and wait for them to be brave. There. So this hop up the step now is getting much more confident. Good boy. Ooh. So for me, that's fine for him today. He's happy and he's taking me forward and he's thinking about where I want him to go and I think when he's 
Uh, steering and control is a little bit more organised and I'd be more happy to be jumping into the water over the step. Um, just because if there's a mistake made, um, sometimes they can remember that for a long time. So it's, it's better to make them feel like it's just a piece of cake. We could do this every day for a week and he'll find this really easy. But he feels really settled, so I'm happy with that today. Good boy, Will. <laughs>